new information this morning in the case of a man accused of sending nude pictures through Snapchat trying to lure a young girl for sex. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan explains what happened when that suspect made his first appearance in court. 20-year-old Jordan Waters appeared before a judge this morning who read out the charges in front of him, including a violation of probation for a similar event two years ago. Mr. Waters, can I have a Jordan Waters appearing before a judge Thursday morning on charges that he violated probation by trying to get a 14-year-old to have sex with him. You have no bond on that violation of probation at this time. You're also here for some new charges. The new charges include obscene communication, attempted lewd and lascivious behavior, transmission of harmful materials to a minor, and unlawful use of a two-way device. Do you want me to appoint the public defender to represent you? You're entitled to have an attorney represent you, and these are some serious charges. If you want the public defender, I will appoint the public defender. Yes. Deputies tell us Waters lives near the Explorer K-8 through school in Spring Hill and would occasionally watch students as they were dismissed. Deputies explain that Waters got a hold of a 14-year-old girl's Snapchat username and began sending her nude photos, trying to get her and a few other girls at the school to have sex with him, something that terrifies parents. You don't know who, who you, especially on Snapchat, you don't know who's there. You don't know. Investigators used the girl's phone to set up a meeting with Waters at a local park. That's where they arrested him, sending him back to court for the second time in two years on similar charges. I wouldn't think in like such a small community like this that would happen. The judge gave Waters no bond on his violation of probation charge. If he should get out after his next court appearance, he will need to wear a GPS monitor. And he is not allowed to leave Hernando County. He's due back in court on February 20th. In Hernando County, Evan Donovan, News Channel 8.